Ian Skoda on the chase. Goalkeeper in no man's land. And near Skoda, the signing from Legia Warsaw, opens his Timbers account in the face of some particularly hesitant defending and goalkeeping. Hesitance being polite, just how easy this was for the Portland Timbers to play out of that pressure from LAFC. Cristoval plays it forward, a little dummy run, then Blanco picks up, and it's a simple run from Nia Shkoda. One-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper. No pressure on him whatsoever. Blessing's too late to recognize that trouble. And a player that has Giovanni Savarese and his staff foaming at the mouth with how clinical that player is in front of goal. Nia Shkoda with his first goal for the Portland Timbers. At Providence Park. In Paredes, in the team today, one of the goal scorers. Uh, this is right. Phillips! Now that is a resounding response. It was a tracer of a shot. And it fair fizzed past Steve Clark. Oh, there is absolutely no doubt about this whatsoever. But Blessing picks up his head and immediately finds that pass. So now Bradley Wright Phillips, for the first time all game long, has a 1v1 situation. He turns to Iloma inside out. And the only thing Steve Clark can do is bend over and pick the ball out of the back of the net. Great finish and great look here from our target goal post camp. That man can score goals even if he's 35 years old. And this is the goal I'm talking about. Blessing needs to take it. Now he finds that channel. Great look. And then Bradley Wright Phillips takes it on the half a turn. And it's definitive. It's one, two, touch. Rodriguez. And there's Kay. Far too easy. Yes, the corner was well delivered. But Portland were all at sea in trying to repel it. It's the same kind of run, though, that led to Bradley Wright Phillips' penalty kick against the L.A. Gallo. But Tui Loma, that's not good enough. Man marking in a wide-open header on the back post over the head of Steve Clark. That's an easy finish, but Tui Loma has to do a better job there of not allowing Mark Anthony Kay to get a wide-open header on that back post. In the blink of an eye, the air has been taken. Sifuentes. Rodriguez Diego Valeri Two of them are rising twice and then the header finds the back of the net and Jeremy Abobasi makes it three and three at this tournament for him and Portland back on terms and back on top of the group. Set pieces is a real issue for LAFC right now. When you look at the subs that have come in, how many of them are good in the air? Even sufficient enough in the air. That's one header. Then the ball comes back and it's defending not only the first, but the second one. This comes off a great opportunity for Zuperich early on, and that is a clinical finish from Jeremy Abobasi. And now puts the Portland Timbers in the drive. 90 seconds, Portland will win the group and will advance to face Cincinnati in the round of 16. And it will be LAFC against Seattle. Breaking for Elmanir. Rodriguez. Segura. Weary Warriors out there. Where things look, Portland will play next Tuesday. LAFC on Monday. Eddie Segura. Last hurrah for LAFC with El Munir. And they have one last corner. Duke has been assigned to take it. Hey, 
Zuperic. And with that, Drew Fisher draws this tightly contested game to a close and it finishes all square at two apiece, which means Portland win the group and they will face Cincinnati. LAFC as runners-up will be up against the Seattle Sounders in a repeat of last season's Western Conference Final, which was a thrilling affair.